The Rock has confirmed his fate in the new DCU, but in doing so has given us a sliver of hope that characters like Henry Cavill's Superman could come back in the future. Hey everyone, welcome back to our movie news. Black Adam was a box office disappointment, but was setting up an exciting future for the DCU. However, since James Gunn has been in charge, project after project has been cancelled, all indicating towards a full reboot, and The Rock's statement seems to be indicating that too. He released the following message on all social media platforms. My passionate friends, I wanted to give you a long-awaited Black Adam update regarding the character's future in the new DC Universe. James Gunn and I connected, and Black Adam will not be in their first chapter of storytelling. However, DC and Seven Bucks have agreed to continue exploring the most valuable ways Black Adam can be utilized in future DC multiverse chapters. He goes on to talk about thanking the fans and saying he will always root for DC, but if you want to read the rest, pause the video and read the rest of his statement, because we are only going to focus on one paragraph. The Rock says Black Adam won't be in Gunn's first chapter of storytelling, and goes on to saying DC and his company Seven Bucks have agreed to continue to to explore the most valuable ways for Black Adam to be utilized in future DC multiverse chapters. So he hasn't excluded the chances of seeing Black Adam in another chapter of the DCU, just not the first one. Not only that, but he clearly specified multiverse chapters. Now this is an interesting thing. Sure, this could be just a professional response that softens the blow of him never returning by leaving the door open, but clearly mentioning multiverse chapters does excite me a bit. It could mean that we may not see the continuation of Black Adam's character in the main DCU, but he could return in the future through the multiverse. And the biggest multiverse crossover is a crisis event, and if we have a crisis event, we could also see Henry Cavill's Superman returning and the rest of the original DC Universe. That would be an incredible moment for the DCU. It would be like No Way Home, but 10 times bigger. It means you can have a full reboot that has a long-term cohesive story, but when the multiverse is in danger, we can see other universes fight alongside the rebooted DCU. And that could be where we see The Rock's Black Adam and Cavill's Superman and everyone from the original DCU fighting alongside the rebooted DC Universe. So Black Adam won't be a part of the first chapter of the DCU, which was expected and a shame, but we now have an official announcement from The Rock himself. But The Rock has left the door slightly open, just in case something does happen. What I will say is that his statement to me does seem to indicate that a full reboot is happening, which in all honesty is good news. I don't want Gunn to be picking his favourites and getting rid of everyone else. From a storytelling perspective, that is just too confusing and unfair. Having certain actors playing the same character from the old universe in the new universe, but others being completely different actors, but all set in a new rebooted timeline, would confuse a lot of people. So I think a full reboot really is the best way to go. A completely new cast in a new universe is really the best way to go around things. And who knows, in 10 years time, a crisis event could occur and we could see the OG cast return to help the rebooted DCU to stop the crisis event. And at that point, Cavill could be the Kingdom Come Superman and could have a little character arc of his own. What I'm trying to say is that a full reboot gives you so many amazing possibilities and the most freedom whilst giving the possibility of the OG cast returning. Daniel RPK seems to believe a full reboot is happening and he has a lot more knowledge of what is happening at DC than we do. So I'm hoping he's right and a full reboot will happen. And for Snyderverse fans, The Rock mentioning multiverse chapters could hint at the multiverse being something DC utilizes. And who knows, maybe the Snyderverse one day could be completed using the multiverse. Gunn has confirmed that Elseworlds projects are actively happening at DC right now, and maybe one day the Snyderverse could be a part of that. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.